the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Brokenness. Number three. What's the third key that makes for restoration? Knowledge 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 proverbs 11 I, I believe verse 9 says through knowledge shall the just be delivered isaiah chapter 60 says arise shine for your light is come and the glory of the lord is risen upon you you arise and you shine when your light comes knowledge knowledge of what not knowledge of your situation or knowledge of what you want knowledge of what it takes listen most people know what they want they even know what they don't want but they do not have the knowledge of what it takes is that true so this is what i want i desire this so desperately and this is it here the bible says that this should be given to me but you must know have the requisite level of spiritual illumination that takes you from prophecy to experience otherwise you will keep wishing things that will never never manifest in your life it takes more than knowing what god has said it takes more than knowing what god has told you to have it is that true you must find out the the participatory condition he has connected to that promise you're acting in keeping with the condition is your demonstration of faith that faith is not just believing alone believing is part of the process of faith faith is the name given to the action of obedience you take as a sign that you believe god I don't know if i've demonstrated it here but say for instance i call this gentleman and i say come and pick this you see don't come but just say you are coming say you are coming look at this shout it again say i'm coming 2018 say you are coming 2019 say you are coming 2020 the promise is still there waiting you have not manifested faith You've just been wishing that you will have it. And someone will come in 2022. My brother, walk and come and collect it. And you are wondering, where did you come from? Uh-uh. It is the person who took the action of faith. Lord, I'm going to build a house. You've never found out where there's an empty land. You are waiting for your bank account. It does not cost money to go and know where land is. And say, Lord, I have seen the land. And someone who came from nowhere, now the person is roofing his house and you are wondering. Faith is not just saying what God has said. Faith is doing what it takes as prescribed by scripture to make what God has said be manifest in your life. Are we together? Thank you. knowledge we need high level spiritual illumination let me challenge you i want you to go back home and write a list of all the areas in your life where you have not seen the word of god produce the kind of result that you desire knowing that god is glorified in your results remember what the bible says it says let your light so shine before men that they may see god wants men to see because in seeing the result that proceeds from you they will glorify god herein is our father glorified john 15 and verse 8 
when ye bear much fruit not little fruit sustainable predictable results brings glory to the name of the lord are we together galatians 1 25 it says and they glorified god in me they glorified god in me the excellency of the workings of the word in and through your life it compels all and sundry to know that jesus christ is lifted and glorified in and through your life god is counting on everyone here as a membership counting on individuals that through your life your life will become a living epistle someone will look at your life this year and anything he did not understand in the morning he will look at your life for the explanation if he if he read his bible in the morning and he saw that god was faith that god is faithful and he did not get that bible study god will tell him look at this pastor as an explanation a clarification to what you have learned that's what it means to be a living epistle your life explains what people do not understand about god when god says that he can favor men if they say lord i i, I is it real that you can favor men he personifies his word embodies it in an individual so that you become a, a demonstration of it nicodemus came to jesus by night and said rabbi we know that thou art a man sent from god for no man can do these things except god be with him there are certain results that are not within the realm of men when you see men manifest that result it, it, it was outsourced from a dimension that is higher than this human dimension and i'm praying for someone here the frequency of results that you will begin to walk in you will be the first person surprised by your results in the name of jesus christ listen do not allow anybody downplay the place of results your christian experience will remain a frustrated experience if you do not have genuine notable results gentiles will not come to you they will come to your light their kings will not come to your light they will come to the brightness of your rising preachers here whether in this ministry or those who came this is the year to contend for high levels of spiritual power high levels of wisdom the kind of wisdom that is connected to mighty works business people this is the year to operate at a dimension that your contemporaries will come to you and say we have discerned that god is with you believe what i'm saying results are powerful results can evangelize they, there are there are there are certain messages that only results can preach the bible said the greek seek for a sign the world is tired of vain explanations from christians one genuine result in the name of the lord can bring to end decades of confusion knowledge we rise in this kingdom by knowledge there is what you must know there is what you must know to reign and to excel there is what you must know to remain on fire there is what you must know to access the spirit of wisdom there is what you must know about kingdom influence there is what you must know about longevity there is what you must know about wealth and abundance there is what you must know about dominion over systems and structures there is what you must know about relationships the question is which aspect of your life are you short go back and become a spiritual archaeologist he said for everyone that seek it find it jesus gave a parable we're praying now he gave a parable and he said the kingdom is likened to an individual who lost a coin in a room the coin means a treasure 
power to make purchases was missing in the room he knew that he, that coin is somewhere the first thing he did was he brought light the second thing he did was to carry a broom and started sweeping i know this breakthrough is somewhere in scripture i don't know what verse i don't know what principle but i know in scripture god lifts i know in scripture god restores i've not understood the dynamics you are sweeping sweeping with messages sweeping with prophetic words and the bible says she found it and she rejoiced can i tell you this every time you claim you have found something and it does not show in your life you are yet to find it i found your word and it was a joy and a rejoicing to my soul listen light is powerful light is powerful when you find this thing you have found it believe me listen you can gain mastery in the spirit you truly can gain mastery in the spirit it says, he that strives for mastery is not crowned except he strives lawfully move past the realm of trial and error shadow boxing and hoping that one thing or the other will work you can rise to a level of predictability in your christian experience that you wake up in the morning and you know you will be favored today you know paul said but i know whom i have believed he said i am persuaded knowledge knowledge you must submit yourself through the labor dimension of faith to access knowledge no matter how great a door is there is a small key that opens it and you can put that key in your pocket but if that key is missing you can stand before that door from morning till night but then if you find the key that is knowledge you need understanding because there are times that you can have the key and the dynamics of opening that door some doors you turn once some doors you turn twice for others you turn and do some other things the bible says in all thy getting get understanding knowledge tells you what to do understanding tells you how to do it knowledge says give but understanding tells you how to give in a way that prospers you knowledge tells you pray understanding tells you how to pray to get results knowledge says fast understanding tells you the kind of fast that has been commanded it's good to have knowledge but in addition to knowledge have understanding understanding brings stability to your life my time is up number four the last and then we'll pray be sensitive now i want to pray for you the fourth key that activates restoration is the prophetic hmm. <laughs> someone's life is changing hmm. isaiah 42 and verse 22 isaiah 42 and verse 22 never forget this scripture but this is a people robbed and spoiled they are all of them snared in holes and they are hid in prison houses they are for a prey and none deliver it read with me they are for a spoil and none say it restore restoration does not just happen someone must say it none say it restore none say it restore in second kings chapter 6 when you read the first seven verses very quickly second kings chapter 6 this was a very interesting rendition the bible says the sons of the prophet said unto elisha behold now the place where we meet with you is too small so they, it was a desire to advance next verse it says let us go we pray thee unto jordan 
and take thee every man a beam and let us make a place where we may dwell and he answered and said go ye verse 3 and one said be content i pray thee go with thy servants and he answered and he said i will go verse 4 so he went with them and they came to jordan and cut down wood but as one was felling a beam the axe head fell into the water he cried and said alas master for it was borrowed wise man many people would try to jump inside the river and die there no there are certain results that you cannot just get it by yourself god has positioned people within the body that in addition and in connection to your faith this man cried and said alas master i'm in trouble i borrowed this the prophet said where fell it and he answered he showed him the place and he cut down a stick and cast it thither and the iron did swim the iron did swim the finances that left you did come back because you see everything that left you is still on earth under a certain condition it can come back this is true please listen to me when the prophetic is administered outside the boundary of scripture it just becomes a display of ignorance with no potency and power but when the prophetic is administered within the jurisdiction of scripture it works wonders listen to me my beloved people there is a dimension of growth and restoration and excellence that only the prophetic can bring to your life when you lose money it's not another business that will bring the money back no you will only waste your time and keep digging deeper it is the prophetic that will bring it back it may look like a physical structure brought it back but it is the prophetic the economy of a whole land had gone down and a prophet said by this time tomorrow he gave it the timing and by the morrow there was restoration i saw this vision and i knew that the lord wanted me to teach and charge and prophesy restoration listen to me god can restore men god can restore things and god can restore time do you know how god restores time he does not take you backward he takes what was in your yesterday that should have happened that did not happen he brings it into your tomorrow are you getting the point now you have to understand how god restores because god does not exist in time he does not even exist in eternity because eternity is time it's just time without end infinite summations uh, no summations of infinite dispensations god dwells in a realm that is neither eternity nor time so there is nothing like past present and future with god that reality is only given to men to help us relate with god there is no such thing as a future there is no such thing as past god's realm is now that's it so your yesterday is as clear and real to god as your tomorrow there is no difference are we together so he can move something that should have happened in year 2000 2015 maybe at that time when that prophetic word would have come you were not sensitive god can move it into january and february and make it happen in your life this is restoration in one minute wherever you are i want you to pray very passionately and cry based on this word ask the lord to bring restoration don't waste this moment go ahead and pray all the centers that are following overflows those following online here is your chance to contact the grace that makes for restoration lift your voice and pray
He barakus kate la kashan de la katsosi beheskedi alasi. And I will restore. Shabrate keskati balakosi deash. Krante barakatus kati breti ke lahasia. Someone pray. Kata prate ke de la kuskati brende la hasieta. Shapres ke di la suda balakusia. Let there be restoration. Pray. God can restore people, relationships. God can restore things. And God can restore years. Someone is praying, Lord, I've wasted 10, 15 years of my life. I wasted it not being a believer. But now in Christ, I am aware that it is within your power to restore. I call for that restoration. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, And by a prophet, the Lord God brought Israel out of Egypt. It was the Lord that brought them, but the instrument was the prophetic. It says, and by a prophet, they were preserved. Let me read this one scripture. And then I'll just take two or three minutes to just minister and speak over your life. And we'll end with an altar call. Nehemiah chapter 5 from verse 11. Please do not forget this scripture. Nehemiah chapter 5 from verse 11. Restore. I pray you to them even this day their lands their vineyards their olive yards their houses also a hundred part of the money and of the corn and wine and oil that ye exact of them listen to that scripture someone is making a decree He said restore everything their lands vineyards olive yards houses hundred part of the money the corn the wine the oil verse 12 then said they we will obey we will restore them and will require nothing of them so we will do as thou sayest then I called the priest and took an oath of them that they should do according to his promise it was the priest that came to seal it a command has come restore but there must be the priest that says sign you must make this happen restore restore my joy restore victory restore everything listen the Bible says, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, it says we were like them that dream. Our mouths were filled with laughter and they testified among the hidden. The Lord had done great things for them. It says the Lord had done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Then it says, turn again our captivity like the streams of the Negev. I sense in my spirit that there are people here. I tell you, I sense such a strong anointing. We just have about two or three minutes. We're not taking too much time. But I want you to believe in the power of God. The power of God is His currency for purchasing realities for believers. That as a result of this encounter, many of you will return with tearsome testimonies. And will say, I've not seen it in this fashion before. Hallelujah. There are three categories of people I want to pray with very quickly. 
very very quickly and then i just speak over our lives number one i want to impart the grace for speed listen truly believe me when i tell you there is a grace for speed there is an exact grace for speed that when that grace comes upon an individual you know because you will have dominion over time dominion over time many of us are, are limited by time dominion over time i want to pray for you i sense such a strong anointing i'm seeing the number 24 even though i'm going to pray for everyone we, we have just my time is up so we we'll not have we still have a session hopefully tomorrow either here or any of the centers but i want you to be very very sensitive i want to pray now there are people you are moving but your life is too slow you don't have all the time for that level of slow movement i want to pray there are people who will start running by the anointing please i want you to help them if you can bring them out here let's have them i stretch my hands to the god of heaven no 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 you don't have to come out your cup the anointing will bring you out in the name of jesus right now by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic i decree and declare bring them out Paratos Sanekatea, Kepre Katos, speed take that grace take that grace in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god i decree and declare over families over businesses speed 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 KJCC Lekki hear the word of the Lord I decree and declare over you speed in the name of Jesus speed in business speed in your spiritual adventure my goodness may that hand of God rest upon you in the mighty and marvelous name of Jesus Bring them out if you can. Just one minute and we're done. Parandes Kabila Katosiata. Every delay that has kept you bound so that you want to move forward and you're unable to move forward. In the name of Jesus Christ, I come by the privilege of the election of grace and I declare those chains let you go now. Let you go now. Let you go now. Paros Katipata Prosecretaire. Speed! Speed! Every closed door that will not let you move forward, I speak to that door. Efata, be open! Efata, be open! Doors of opportunities in the name of Jesus. Doors of grace. Doors of new seasons. Doors of discernment. Doors of the prophetic doors of the apostolic in the name of Jesus Christ everything you have lost that left your life and should not have left I stand by the power of the prophetic between now and the next three months I call upon my God hear me i'm speaking to you everything that left Kapatos Katikata, that left your life your destiny in 90 days by the spirit of grace i command it to be restored now everywhere the overflows the centers be restored be restored be restored be restored be restored and anyone holding what should get to your hands and has refused to release it i call upon the god of joshua the one who rides upon the wings of the wind let it be restored a hundredfold project that you've started and has refused to be completed the bible says the hand of Zerubbabel that began this work that same
same hand will become will, will, will perfect it i pray 2022 i speak it that let this be your year of completion what god has started in your life this is the year you will see it completed hallelujah final prayer for you every destiny helper anointed to locate you and partner with prophecy as far as your restoration is concerned wherever they are i prophesy to the north the south and the east and the west by the spirit of grace i call them to your life now i call them to I call them to your life now. HICC, hear me. I speak to you by the spirit of grace. Enlarge to the left. Enlarge to the right. Enlarge to the east. Enlarge to the west. Break forth to new seasons. In the name of Jesus Christ. Businesses break forth. Families break forth. Ministries break forth. Career break forth. In the name of Jesus. That when men say there is a casting down. For you let it be that this year there is a lifting up. Hear me. Everyone who is part of this spiritual family. Whether here represented in this branch. Across the other branches. Connecting from around the world. I speak and I decree and declare in the name of Jesus as God has declared to the man of God and his wife I join my faith with them and I speak this year may you see a performance of prophecy in the name of Jesus and for all who are out here I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that everything limiting you it goes for your sake now you will go and return with testimonies from this night not tomorrow from this night in the name of jesus christ please return to your seats rejoicing now very quickly we're out of time i want to make an altar call listen we are in the days of his power we are in the days where it is costly to reject Jesus. Here's what the Bible says. Please look up. Let me have your attention. All the overflows, all the centers following, please pay attention. There are men and women, you must find them in every meeting ordained by God and of God. Who come there in need of genuine salvation. Others in need of restoration, spiritual restoration. And I believe there are people in this auditorium all the overflows and all those who are following you're saying apostle i genuinely need jesus christ not just as a religious or church thing i need a functional relationship with the god of the bible and there are others who are saying apostle i need restoration as it stands i cannot say i'm proud of my spiritual life i know that i need restoration very quickly we have just a minute for you wherever you are inside here i want you to quickly come and stand before me i'm going to count one to five run like there's fire on the mountain one you want to make jesus lord of your life please don't come arbitrarily make sure you understand what you are doing two thank you oh my father for giving us your son and live in your spirit till your work on earth is done the greatest experience that the believer can have is the experience of receiving the life of jesus in this encounter that we call the new birth an exchange of your weakness for his strength his life imparted into your spirit for all of you who are in front here whether making a first time decision or rededicating your hearts to jesus please lift your hands high above your head say this after me truthfully don't play games with god we are in the days 
where we need high level spirituality to excel in this life some of you are crying there's no reason to be ashamed this is an encounter with jesus say after me lord jesus i love you with all my heart and i believe that you are the son of god tonight i come before you just as i am i ask you to wash me to cleanse me make me anew i believe that jesus is my savior my lord and king and i receive eternal life into my spirit from today i am a child of god i go forward ever and backward never amen keep your hands lifted father thank you for these ones they have come declaring your lordship over their lives and scripture declares that as many who would come to you you will in no wise cast away i pray by the authority of scripture and i declare that your sins are forgiven and i decree and declare that you are recipients of the life of god in the name of jesus i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over your life from tonight and forever you walk in the newness of life in jesus name i pray now i see um forms okay just just be patient the counselors are handing you over a card please do well to have the card before you go back now here's what will require of you please do well to complete the cards legibly and i believe that after the service there should be an usher of someone who you can pass it to um complete all the details required make sure you have the card once you have the card you can do well to go back to your seat i hope i'm right on that praise the lord hallelujah and for all of us who are left i declare one last time that in the name of jesus as a result of this encounter every expectation that you have the bible says your expectation will not be cut short i pray for you everything that represents a request by the god of heaven who is my god and your god i declare let it come to pass speedily in the name of jesus christ may the lord bless you may the lord honor you in jesus name i pray dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashkana Katapranda Katekato. Katapranda Katapako Tosco to break a take a legata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.